the guys were back out on the creek and it is raining right now it's mostly a drizzle for now and i'm cool with that as long as it doesn't start to lightning i'm not going to get killed out here uh, but i've got the trica 3x medium light extra fast this is a 6 10 spinning rod i've got the pen battle 3 10 pound braid high vis orange i've got fluoro leader and the green pumpkin orange helgramite four and a quarter inch on the swing head so we're just going to fish these pockets see if we can get it on any it's been tough lately but Hey, it's cooled off a bit, and I'll take that for sure. This one. Okay. Not terrible. Not terrible at all we will take that so i've been fishing the leech a lot it seems like they like the helgramite just as much i went a little bigger thank you buddy i went a little bigger on the four and a quarter inch helgramite just to maybe coax some of the bigger fish into biting and keep some of the dinks away but we'll see what's going on so if you're wondering why I often use brightly colored braid, especially when I'm fishing finesse. Use such a long fluoro leader that the line color doesn't matter as much because the fish aren't really seeing this orange line. They're seeing the 10 plus feet of leader that I have. Um, and the high vis line, whether it's yellow, orange, high vis green, blue, it really helps you detect the bites when you can't feel them as much, it gives you that extra element of being able to watch your line better too. And that's super important when you're fishing finesse. Because sometimes the bites are really subtle. Get over here. Not a bad guy. Ooh, he's angry. Oh, not bad at all. Get over here. Oh no, that's a good fish. Heck yeah. We will take that for sure. For sure. Nice little healthy bass. Beautiful. Chunky, he's eating well. He's not super skinny like a lot of the summer bass. They're starting to eat better. He is angry. Goodness gracious. Not a monster, but he's acting like a monster. Not a bad little fish. Come here, buddy. Come here. We will take that all day long. That's a good little bash. Yes, sir. Thank you for the fight, buddy. Ow.
never in my life have I foul hooked a turtle. Never. I've caught snapping turtles, but I literally just foul hooked this turtle. Didn't even foul hook him, just got his shell. Wow. Buddy, what's going on? What are you doing? Sorry, buddy. Goodness gracious, I'll let you go. See what we have. A little bit of an upgrade. Goodness gracious, man. Yep, we will take that all day long. Not a bad bass for this time of the year. Green, pumpkin, orange. Pelgramite, despite the noise, and you got that in a unfortunate spot, didn't you, fella? There we go. We will take that fish all day long. Thank you for the fight, buddy. You know guys, part of the downside of this time of the year is that you have a lot of kayakers and you have a lot of people getting out on the creeks that you don't see in the spring. Um, and I just had a group of kayakers come through and, you know, kind of blow out my hole, push me out of the hole I was fishing. Um, and they had a couple kids with them, so the human part of me was obviously frustrated because they were doing pretty much nothing but screaming. Um, but the part of me that's a father and a fisherman is happy that they're out here and happy that they have that joy of fishing. So have patience with people when you're out. I was a bit frustrated when they came through and blew me out of the hole and uh, were making so much noise. But at the same time, I remember what it was like to be a kid. And I'd rather have the kids out here learning how to fish, learning uh, to have a good time. You don't really learn fishing etiquette unless you get out here and do it. Thanks for the fight, buddy. That's a decent fish. Have a stick? Yeah. Mats. Oh wow, that's a nice bass right there though. Oh no, that's a catfish. Yeah, that would be a nice bass. It's a kitty cat. Swims by me. I just have a nice little tree pounder here. Oh, there's a couple, there's a bunch of channel cats swimming around. Might have to come out here and give them a go. I've caught them on these finesse, you know, neds and, and things like that, but may have to come out here and target them with some earthworms or something. Seems like there's a lot of them swimming around.
He is way up in those weeds. Oh, hey, buddy. Welcome, welcome. bass are really spread out in the summer sometimes it can be uh, hard to figure out where they are what they're doing but you can find them nice little fish thank you buddy don't bite me please again sayonara Thanks for coming to play. Again, this Helgramite on this swing head net, this is an offset hook. So it helps keep it weedless, keeps the Helgramite parallel. And it's a lot like a Texas rig. It just gives it a little bit of weight to go down. One really cool thing about Nico is just the durability. I've been using the same Helgramite all day. I haven't changed baits once and that's super rare when it comes to soft plastics usually they get chewed up by the bass and you end up uh, going through a pack a day easily with some baits but I've been using the same Helgramite for this entire outing and it's not even remotely close to being chewed up so you really get your money's worth when it comes to these uh, these Nico soft plastics. Well, that's going to do it for me, guys. Uh, it was a decent bite today. We got on some okay bass in the creeks. We had a lot of traffic. We had a lot of kayakers, floaters, screaming kids. It would have been easy uh, to lose my patience there, but I just have to remind myself that these are shared waterways. We're all out there just to have a good time. The water doesn't just belong to fishermen, so uh, we should all just take care to, <laughs> to be friendly when we are in those situations. But we're approaching the, the fall bite, so the bite will turn on hopefully then, but for now they're still scattered um, and they're hard to pattern in the summer. But Again, we managed to get on a few. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, tight lines.